I will ask my colleague now, Professor Rodolakis, for his comments. Would like thank, uh, we would like to thank all the invited speakers uh, who were referred to the imaging uh, for gynecological cancer. Gynecological cancers uh, represent uh, uh, cancers that uh, diagnosed uh, in either uh, uh, premenopausal or postmenopausal uh, status and of the of women and uh, imaging is quite crucial we heard uh, from uh, uh, dr zafiropoulou uh, the importance of uh, diagnostic and even interventional imaging during of uh, for cancer during pregnancy and especially for carcinomas of the cervix and carcinomas of the of uh, ov ovarian carcinomas um, endometrial carcinomas are not quite common, it's quite rare and not diagnosed during pregnancy. And we hear that uh, MRI has been a diagnostic uh, method which is quite uh, accurate in diagnosing the size of the tumor, the location of the tumor, the extent of the tumor, and um, diagnosing, of course, the the, the extent of the tumor in the periphery, what is quite crucial to allocate these patients for uh, conservative or uh, a more radical approach, and even for termination of pregnancy uh, in uh, some uh, very carefully selected cases, especially during the first trimester. Uh, ultrasound and MRI has been uh, the mainstay of diagnostic imaging during pregnancy. And following that, uh, we've heard by Professor Borghiotti the importance of diagnostic and even interventional imaging for cervical and endometrial cancer. Cervical and endometrial cancer are mostly uh, local regional uh, uh, cancer with uh, like extended local region into the pelvis. And uh, MRI has been uh, the mainstay of, uh, of, diagn of diagnosis, the local extent of the disease in the cervix into the myometrium, the extent into the myometrium, and of course the extent to the parametria. But uh, is, it is quite important that uh, the diagnosis of uh, the extra pelvic disease is quite crucial because management of these patients is uh, uh, quite different when we are talking about uh, an, an extent of the disease in, basically into the lymph nodes outside of the pelvis. And we have heard that uh, uh, PET CT is uh, the most accurate and the most reliable method in diagnosing these cases. Of course, uh, with, the, with the MRI evaluating the size of uh, lymph node involvement and uh, uh, the extent of the disease in, uh, in the retroperitoneal space. And finally, you have heard uh, the excellent presentation by Professor Forster concerning imaging in ovarian disease. Ovarian cancer is a basically a systematic disease, not only uh, being, uh, unfortunately, is a systematic disease in uh, up to th uh, 75 or 80 percent of cases. And uh, evaluation, uh, not even the, the, the primary tumor, but uh, basically the extent of the disease, which is a retroperitoneal and peritoneal disease is uh, quite of importance in order to evaluate the extent of the disease before we approach these patients. Basically, surgical approach is for the early stage of diseases and even for, lay, for uh, advanced disease, but with a very careful selection of patients, which patients we can uh, obtain an optimal debulking, we can uh, obtain a completely resectable disease. And uh, imaging is quite crucial for us in order to evaluate the resectability of the disease before we approach to this patient, because we are talking about with uh, we are talking about uh, very aggressive and very extended surgical approaches. 
which uh, and the, the, the informa the importance of information by clinical by imaging uh, for which patient we can approach uh, surgically and resect is quite difficult and of course I would like to emphasize the, uh, that all the speakers have said the, the importance of imaging uh, in order to approach uh, sometime uh, the disease by interventional radiology, by intervention, by uh, CT or ultrasound guided uh, fine needle biopsies. This is a, nowadays a quite crucial and quite helpful for us you know, from the clinical point of view. Uh, by evaluating uh, the extent of the disease in some uh, places where a uh, surgical approach is not feasible. I would like to uh, congratulate all the speakers for the excellent uh, presentation uh, concerning imagery in these specific uh, topics, cancer in pregnancy, cervical and endometrial cancer, and ovarian cancer.